Hey, welcome home. And today at home, we're gonna install the Quark Tire Whisk. This is a Bluetooth tire pressure monitoring device. You install it onto your tire in place of a normal tubeless valve core. This thing is dust proof, it's waterproof, it only weighs 10 grams. So for those of you that are really counting your weight, you don't have to worry about it. This is like less than a Snickers bar, so don't trip skip. And this is super important because your tires are what connects you to the road. And especially if you're out racing gravel and you think you've got a flat tire and you're looking back and you're afraid to send it, this will tell you your tire pressures to 0.02% of a PSI on any head unit you've got. Wahoo, Garmin, Hammerhead, it does it all. Also in the Ceram Access app. So let's set this up on some Zip 303 Firecrest and uh, let's get tire whizzing. This is the little LED that lets you know your tire whiz is functioning. If you need to change the battery, it's just a simple pop that thing open and close. You can adjust the battery, but the LED tells you it's functioning. And for those of you that don't want to use a head unit, this LED will let you know your tire pressure. If it's blinking slow red, it means you're low pressure. If you're blinking green, it means you're good, solid pressure range. And if it's blinking fast red, it means you have too much pressure. So even if you don't want to go digital and you want to be as analog as possible while still being high tech, you can look at the LED, the tire whiz will let you know your tire pressure. You've got your keeper nut right here and you've got your washer. So we're gonna pop those off. This is the valve core. You can see that there is two O-rings and a little hole right there. That's the important part. So make sure that the O-rings are in good shape and SRAM recommends that you take just a little bit of grease and just dab it on the O-rings, making sure not to get it into that little hole right there. But that's kind of the only thing you have to do is take special care with this. Make sure that the grommet matches up with the groove of the rim gently so as to preserve the o-rings insert it all the way down you can see that the grommet and the rim fit right there that's super important this is the little fairing that comes specific with the 303 firecrest because arrow is everything we'll pop that guy on there and then we'll take the tire whiz itself this is the high technology and we will insert making sure that the little nugget right there where the holes are is low you'll put your gasket on and you put your keeper bolt on right there and they say not to over tighten this. So that means don't use pliers or anything like that. Just finger tighten it down. So now I've got my tire whiz installed. We've got the valve core. We've got the fairing. We've got the tire whiz itself, the O-ring and the keeper nut and my removable Presta valve. So let's mount a tire onto this and see what my tire whiz told me about my tire pressure. <laughs> Depending on your level of professionalism, you can choose to uh, match your logos with your valve stems. As they say in mountain biking, hold and hope. Ooh, you love to hear it. Listen, wheel whisperer, listen for any air. I don't think we have any air, so. The LED is blinking really fast right now because I have too much tire pressure in there. All right, first up, high technology. Hop on your computer, go to access.sram.com. You can also just go to sram.com and find the access. And they have a handy dandy tire pressure guide right here that tells you the right amount of pressure to put in your tires, or at least it's a starting point. So we're gonna go with pounds and PSI, but if you're uh, doing the metric, you can go the other way. Let's say that I am 165, 165 pounds. We're gonna be doing gravel style cyclocross. My bike weighs, let's say my bike weighs 18 pounds and I'm riding 700 C wheels. My width for my, oh, this is a rear tire. So we're just gonna do that is a 38. So using the SRAM calculator online is a great way to get a starting point to figure out your tire pressure. You can see that I just went in and I put in my tire size my rider weight, my bike weight, all the important metrics about what your bike is gonna be doing, how much you weigh, what type of riding you're gonna be doing, and it gives me an excellent starting point. High technology, gonna to go to the SRAM Access app on your smartphone. Boom, I've got mine right there. You can see I've got a couple bikes. I've got my high ball, I've got my gravel bike. This is gonna go on my gravel bike, and I can go in and I can add the bike. We've got both of our cork tire whizzes activated. The lights are blinking, and you can now see that they're displaying in my SRAM Access app. And from when we did the tire pressure calculator online, you can see that I'm running way too much in the front and way too little in the rear. So we'll go to the front tire right here. Hope we got them paired correctly. And you can see, oh, there it goes. So the tire whiz pairs with just about any head unit. You can pair it with your Wahoo or your Garmin. We're gonna pair it with a hammerhead right now. So you can see this is my hammerhead Carew from right here. I click in the settings. I go to sensors. Let's see what it says. There's my two tire whizzes. I'll select both of them. It's pairing. Give me a little check mark. Success. 
All right, got my tire whizzes set up on the Zip 303 Fire Crush right here, front and rear. Did a little at-home tire setup. It's on the bike now. This is my gravel bike. Got my SRAM mullet set up. And uh, I've got my hammerhead right here. I've got it paired to my hammerhead. The tire whizzes are paired to my hammerhead so I can get real-time tire pressure while I ride. And if I really want to check it out, they're also paired to my smartphone via the SRAM Access app. So let's go have a rip and uh, see what's up with these tire whizzes, real-time tire pressure. <laughs> 